Hello everyone. So today I thought I'll probably share with all of you today that I have tried syncing my org mode calendar items with my Google Calendar, and uh, I have tried this many times, not just once, but I've stopped worrying about it. I've stopped uh, uh, even. Uh, trying anything new when it comes to syncing my calendar now just to give you some background i of course use uh, org mode i have been using it for many years now i think it will be almost like a decade if i'm not wrong uh, but initially when i started using org mode i was mostly using it for taking notes and then uh, quickly i started also using it to basically plan the work and when you plan the work you basically want to make sure that there are dates involved now when i when i when i work on a normal day any any typical day i of course look at my org agenda to figure out what i need to do and uh, i need to know what i have planned to do on a specific day but at the same time uh, what i have to do on uh, not only on a specific day but also at a specific uh, time of that particular day for example nine o'clock i want to do this ten o'clock i want to do that and i i mean, I mean we all work dif differently but uh, this is how i work the best i want to follow a timetable and uh, it is probably a bit too harsh but uh, i feel good if i do things that i have planned to happen or to do at a specific time because i usually uh, divide my day into different uh, time blocks and uh, I want to ensure that I do things that I plan to do on a specific uh, uh, time of the day right so problem is that if you're using org mode with dates everything is fine but uh, these days we all are work, of course working remotely I've been working remotely I guess uh, majority of my last 10 years and uh, we need to rely on calendars right especially external calendars where you have to collaborate with others even within your team members or maybe if you are uh, working with uh, your clients your customers people use calendars a lot because that is where you know things are on on the calendar and uh, usually calendars if you're using a proper calendar it will take care of syncing and that is the whole reason i mean this this is one of the main reason i still use uh, google workspace i actually pay for it because it is much more convenient i i'm sure there are ways to do it uh, on your own maybe maybe i can set up my own uh, mail server with calendar but it is not that easy to be honest and when you're using let us say uh, calendars or gmail or you know google workspace based i mean i just use gmail and uh, i mean would you google workspace and uh, calendar that syncs really well, well with my uh, well with my phone it, it is much more convenient and uh, i now basically have i mean this is this is number one that i'm still using google calendar google products paid ones and uh, i also have to uh, rely on uh, my calendar plus my org mode uh, agenda so initially i tried uh, thinking these two things together but it is not really a like effective way uh, there are i found couple of uh, i think scripts that can do it people have done a lot of other things like uh, they have a shell script that will look for your agenda files with timestamps and it will then uh, sync it with your google calendar or it will bring your google calendar in your agenda I don't really think it works really well for me. I, I've tried it. It kind of worked, but uh, it was not really super nice experience because it, it is too much hassle. And uh, when you have calendars, especially Google calendars, when you're talking or when you're supposed to meet some external people, things move all the time. When, when they plan something, they might want to add more people to their... Uh, list of invitees they might want to worry about uh, 
of course uh, i mean when i say that i'm talking about other people who are probably involved in your uh, invite or maybe they have sent you an invite so apart from uh, uh, apart from moving of the dates or time it is also the time zone which is uh, not really easy so i i work with people in us i work with people in europe in 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 india in uk of course and it is a pain to be honest to manage all these things uh, separately yourself it is just better to use uh, a google calendar because it will take care of all these things for you and it will also sync with your uh, mobile phone which is like i mean google is like tightly integrated with everything that we do which is probably not we want but it works and uh, and i'm paying for it so uh, i think it is much more easier to just use two different calendars and and my 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 usage of google google calendar is only for uh, meeting people uh, and whenever I, i i try not to meet I, i try not to have too many meetings uh for example let us say if i have to meet someone for sure 11 o'clock from 11 o'clock till 12 then i will go back to my org mode agenda and i move things manually so uh that is that is how i do it yes it's not a solution it's a, it's not even a work around it's basically living with these limitations but i'm not really sad or unhappy about it it is of course not ideal ideally you should have just one way of doing things or i should i should say uh, the way you want it to do to, to happen for example i was thinking that maybe maybe one day i'll have my own mail server where uh, my mail server is also able to look for my agenda or my agenda is, is able to look for the items the events that i have in my calendar and everything is synced or everything works properly but i don't really have time to figure out these things it will it will probably take not just couple of hours a couple of days maybe a couple of weeks to uh, build something ideal i may want to maybe one day hopefully hopefully in future i will try to i will try it again i'm not giving it up but i'll try to set up my own mail server and then it might be then, then i'll probably you know revisit this but i'm not really planning to do it in the next uh, in the near future i'm probably happy with uh, using using two two different calendars and uh, and i i i'm making this video because uh, i'm just sharing my feedback i know we we all love org mode emacs but it is not really perfect and it's not really about being perfect it's it's more about uh, use use the right tool uh, that solves your problem when you want to solve it don't really wait for uh, a problem to be solved i, I know you, we should not always take the easy route all the time uh, but at the same time uh, i mean if it is blocking you from doing something then it is also a problem so right now that is what i am doing i have I, i have accepted this approach of using two different calendars and that is all that is all i wanted to talk about today in this video i hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new thank you thank you very much bye bye